Hey, welcome everyone. Today we're going to be discussing Sophos MTR, which stands for Managed Threat Response. Moreover, we're going to go over the settings needed for Sophos MSP, as well as how to assign the license. So let's go ahead and jump right into the partner dashboard and get this started. Okay, now that we're at the Sophos Central Partner Dashboard, the first step to getting set up with Sophos MTR, Managed Threat Response, is to come into Settings and Policies, Manage Threat Response Preferences, and you will need to assign an authorized contact. You will need at least one authorized contact in order to start this process. To do this, hit the drop down. From here, find and select the account that you want to use. This will populate the information from that record, email address, as well as the name. The one thing that will not populate will be the phone number. You will need to manually enter this in to this dashboard. From here, you will then have the option at the top right to hit save. Once this is saved, it will take about five to 10 minutes before that becomes active for your licensing. So if you've just set this up right now, give it some time, let it replicate through the system before you will actually be able to assign a license. While we are here, you have your secondary and tertiary contacts. These contacts can either be taken from the drop-down list or they can be manually entered in on the dashboard. You can manually enter in the email address, the name, and the phone number. These contacts do not have to originate from the drop-down list. The primary is mandatory from the drop-down. After that, for the secondary and the tertiary contacts, they can be filled out manually. The next step is going to be the threat response. The threat response by default will be notified. This simply means that the MTR team will reach out to your contacts to notify you of a problem so that you can respond to it. What I highly recommend is at minimum selecting the collaborate, which means that we will reach out to your contacts to it, let you know about a threat inside of your environment or your customer's environment and work with you to get that threat removed from the environment. I would also recommend that you check the box for authorized MTR operations to respond in the event that they cannot reach any of your contacts. This means during the evening, if you're unavailable, no one's answering the phone, it's late at night, and there is an active threat inside of the environment, you authorize the MTR team to start taking action against that active threat. Without that checked, they will wait for a callback from you to collaborate on the response. The last option is going to be authorize. This simply states that you authorize Sophos MTR, the management response team, to neutralize and resolve all of the active threats and then tell your contacts what happened, give you the after action report as to what happened inside of that customer's account. Okay, the next component of this will be the customized preferences. So what this is going to be used for is if you have a customer that needs to have unique settings for their particular account, maybe you have a co-managed IT environment and they want to be able to have their own contact be the primary. This will allow you to configure the customize option for the particular MTR account once this is set, it will unlock those settings inside of the central admin dashboard. So you can see here for my personal account, I have it as yes, we want to customize. And then it gives me a link here for the control to go in and configure. What this is going to do is it's going to launch and open up a central admin dashboard for that customer. Once we are in the central admin dashboard for this customer, you're going to go to global settings. Again, you are going to find manage threat response preferences, which will be under general. And you will have the option in here to make changes at the customer level. If that customize button was not checked, you will have a yellow banner across the top, letting you know that the settings are going to be coming from the partner account. With the customize option selected, you again have to select your primary from the drop down, which would be your primary contact for that partner. And then you can manually enter in the rest of the information from there for the secondary and tertiary contact. 
The contacts from the Sofo Central Partner Dashboard will not be used. You will also need to set the response threat setting in here as well. Again, recommending the collaborate and authorize. Okay, now that we have the threat response settings set up, you have your authorized contacts, you've got your threat response, you have any accounts customized that are needed. Let's go back to the Sofo Central Partner Dashboard. Okay, inside the Sofo Center Partner Dashboard, again, we have everything set up. Our authorized contacts and our threat response will be for all of your Sofo Central MSP customers, unless you have them set for the customized preferences to override. Now we need to go ahead and set the licensing for those customers. To do this, you're going to go to Manage Customer Usage on the left-hand side. And from here, you will want to select a customer account. This will need to be a monthly customer. You will not be able to do this on a termed account. Once you select either that one or multiple customers inside of the dashboard, select change licenses. From here, we want to select only the endpoint and the server. We don't want to make any changes to any other product. When you hit next, it will bring you to the endpoint. Now this page here will always default to Intercept X Advanced. So it doesn't matter what you have set inside of your actual tenant. If they're set for Intercept X Advanced with EDR, that is fine. This screen does not represent the current settings. It will always default to the Intercept X Advanced. From here, now that you have selected your MTR preferences and contact, you should have the ability to enable Intercept X Advanced with MTR Advanced or MTR Standard. If you don't have these selected and they are still grayed out, there are two possibilities for this. First, you may not have accepted the terms and conditions for your partner account for MTR. That will be listed here at the top if you still need to fill that out. You may also still need to give it time for the MTR preferences and contact information to be updated. If you did not go into the preferences and actually save your contacts inside of there, that you would need to do that first before you will be able to enable these licenses. Now that we have this account set here, we're going to go ahead and select that we want MTR Advanced. We're going to select Next. On this screen here, coming back to the endpoint real quick, make sure you leave this box checked. This will automatically install the new software components for the MTR uh, on the actual Sophos agents. Any Sophos agents you have out there will automatically get the MTR components. So this is important to leave this checked. If not, you will need to go into the central admin account and you will need to manually assign it to those endpoints. Under the server, again, we want to select the MTR advanced. We're gonna select next. And we'll now be brought to our license confirmation page. This will let you know that our endpoint will be changed to the MTR Advanced License, our servers will be changed to the MTR Advanced License, and we can now hit Save. Once you've hit Save inside of the dashboard, it will take upwards of 4 to 10 minutes inside of the dashboard to see that reflected. What you will see is these four licenses here, which are listed as Intercept X Advanced with EDR, those will convert and get moved over to the Intercept X Advanced with EDR and MTR Advanced, just as we selected inside of the customer account. On any of your accounts, if you are seeing this missing software on some devices, what this means is that the Sofo Central agent is installed and you have the Intercept X Advanced, Intercept X Advanced with EDR and MTR license enabled on there, and you are missing one of the components. That could be the Intercept X Advanced component. That could be the MTR component on there. You will need to go into that customer's account and manage to see which one of those endpoints are missing it and add it to that device. You can do this by clicking on the Manage Endpoint Software and simply assigning that license under protection to all of the devices. All right, I hope you found this helpful. This will get you set up and going with the MTR product on Sophos Central. There is nothing else to do from this point. At this point, the MTR team will be notified that you have a new customer that is joining the MTR Managed Threat Response Service. 
they will set up and do a health check against that customer to ensure that all the settings and protection components on there are set correctly. They will let you know what needs to be changed. They will also reach out to set up a welcome call. The welcome call will go over how to contact the MTR service, as well as going through the different options that are needed as far as what's recommended during the health check that they did on that particular customer. If you have any questions at any time, please reach out to your local MSP team. We'd be happy to assist.